Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, crafty family. It's me. So today we're doing something very cool, I think. Um, and hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> it's the first time doing something like this. Um, so everybody knows I can't paint. Well, some of you be like, oh, yes, you can. But <laughs> I'm not a painter. I never claimed to be a painter. I've tried painting and, you know, I'm very, I'm just not, I'm just not a painter. And I'm okay with that, you know. But I've never really tried to follow a tutorial. I've watched tutorials and I've never really tried. And a lot of the tutorials I've watched um, have not given me much confidence because they'll say things that I don't understand. They don't, they don't explain things well enough for me to feel confident to do it. And so, I mean, I have painted and I, I, I followed a Bob Ross book one time and actually did a decent job on an oil painting, but it wasn't like, I don't know. I felt like oil painting was easier because the paint stayed wet longer so I could work with it more and had more time to fix mistakes. Whereas acrylic painting, you don't really have that because acrylic paints dry fairly quickly. So anyway, that being said, that was back in like 1992, and that was like the last time I really ever attempted to paint. Um, I mean, I've painted little things here and there, like just messing around, but this is like the first time I'm willing to try something. And with that, instead of being long-winded, I don't know if you've ever heard of the YouTube channel Painting with Jane. Now... I love watching her videos because for the first time, somebody actually makes me feel like I could do it. She, you know, obviously you would look, I, for me anyway, I look for the ones that say beginners because she actually puts down, you know, if it's for a beginner and she does such a great job being detailed that I always feel like I could probably do that. I could probably do that. You know, like every time I watch one of her videos, even the ones, some of the ones that don't say beginners, the way she walks you through everything, I feel like I have more confidence because of the way she teaches. And I am big with, with when people teach things to, especially if they're, con, you know, considering themselves teaching to a beginner to break it down so that a person that really is a beginner can understand. And she does a really good job of that. And if you've never seen her videos, you need to check her out. I will put all her links below. She's got a website, paintingwithjane.com, where you can go buy her paintings. She's got beautiful paintings. Um, I absolutely love some of her paintings I would die for. But she's got awesome paintings. She's got a Patreon. She's got a blog. She's a busy lady. She does videos. So I'm going to put all of her links below. You have to promise me that you will go check her out for sure, and subscribe to her, and tell her that I sent you. If you see a video you like, say, hey, Pink Poodle Craft sent me over here to check you out. She's awesome, and she's really, and she seems like, she's really cute, and she seems like she's just a really fun person. She looks like a little pixie. She's so cute, and I love her, and I love watching her videos, and she makes me feel, I've been watching her for a while, but for a year or two at least, and she's been, I've never tried to recreate any of her paintings because I never had the courage, but I did feel like I could do it. I, I, I felt confident. So I decided that the first time I'm ever going to recreate one of her paintings, why not do it on a video? So I contacted her and she's so nice. And I contacted her and I was like, look, I was like, if I were to use one of your videos in my video, as I'm doing one of your tutorials, like have her video playing along with mine, as I do it, I said, I asked her if that would be okay. And she was like, yeah, sure, blah, blah, blah. No problem. She's so sweet. And I, you know, I wanted to get her permission. There's a lot of people that do that type of thing, you know, like the makeup tutorials. People are now like, oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to follow a James 
Charles makeup tutorial, yada, yada. This is similar, but with painting with Jane. I'm going to follow a painting with Jane tutorial and let's see how well I do. And I'm pretty confident because I, if you wait, you'll see how well she teaches. I'm going to play the video in a little screen. In fact, there it is. So that little screen, obviously this is not meant for you to be able to like see and hear every single detail of what she's doing. For that, the link to the video that I'm following of hers is going to be below. So you can go and look at the actual video in a, a much larger format and follow along with it and give it a try yourself. I really, really would love for you to do that. In fact, in fact, if you do one of her tutorials, doesn't have to be this one. If you follow along with any of her tutorials on any size canvas in any fashion and you post a picture of it in my group, you will be entered in a drawing and you will have until the end of April to do it. So the last day of April is the last day that you can do that. So if you follow along with one of her tutorials and show me the painting and link the video that you followed, in my group, the Pink Poodle Pack uh, Crafty Creative Playground, whatever the hell it's called, the link is in the description to my group. Um, if you follow along, make sure that, make sure first of all, um, I'm going to put Jane's uh, Facebook. I think she has a Facebook. Yeah, she has a Facebook because that's how I contacted her, I think. No, I don't know. She has a Facebook. I'm going to put her Facebook, everything below. Tag her somehow in the video, the, not the video, in the picture that you post. Um, either tag her in it. I don't know. Whatever, you know, somehow show it to her if you can. Email it to her. I'll try to put her email below because I do have her email. Um, I don't know if she'll, uh, no, it's on her site. So I don't think she'd mind if I put it down there. I don't know. But anyway, somehow tag her in it. Definitely tag me in it so that I see that you did it and I'll put you in a drawing for something cool. Maybe it'll be like a canvas. Maybe it'll be something cool. So either way, if you follow along with one of her specific, anyone you want, you know, tutorials on how to paint. Anyway, with that being said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play her video and you're gonna see it right here in this little box. And you're gonna hear the video as well. Now, I don't have the most sophisticated setup, so you might think so because of that being right there, that box. But it's the most, I have the most simple, sophisticated setup <laughs> as you can get. So, I'm a little nervous because, you know, this is the first time I'm doing something like this, so bear with me. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear her okay and hear me and see a little bit of the video and what I'm following along. This might be a long video because her video is 32 minutes. And so I'm going to have to stop sometimes and go and, and like, you know, so let's see how this goes. Shall we let me, I'm going to have to move screens around. Not, not the one you're looking at, but on my end so that I can see what she's doing. So I'm going to hopefully stay in frame. Um, let's see. Hopefully I'm going to stay in frame and everything goes well. So I'm going to play her video now and hopefully not screw anything up. All right, let's begin. Nope, that's not the beginning. Go back. <laughs> Already. She gives a list of things. Now here's the thing with that. I, whoops, I'm I did. Scrubbing at it. Let's try this again. The lit, I'm trying to do this. Sorry. It's going to be a little weird. Let's try that again. I'm trying to make it so I can pause it easily. Anyway, it says you'll need a one inch flat brush and eight inch filbert. Now the only filbert I have, which a filbert is one, a brush with like the little curvy. And I don't have an eight inch. I think this is like a 10. Oh no, it is an eight. Is it? I don't know. We're just going to go with it. A half inch angle brush, which... I'm um, not sure I have a half inch. Do I have a half inch angle brush here? Is this a half inch? Nope, that's an inch. I didn't realize I needed that one. But I could probably get away with something else. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not that concerned. We'll just use we'll just use this one and call it good. Oh wait, here we go. This one's a half inch. Sure. 
that'll work. All right, so we got that. I don't need that one. Uh, number three, round, which I'm not sure. Round. Um, I don't know what a round is. I'll just follow along and, I don't know, grab a brush as I need it. A fan brush. I got those. I got three of those to choose from. And a canvas. And my canvas is 14. Yeah, 14 by 11. 11 by 14. Hers is 12 by 16. So hers is bigger. So I just decided to do it on a smaller scale. Okay, we're playing the video now. And I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jane. And today we're going to paint a tropical sunset. Before we get started, make sure you check out the video description below for a full list of materials. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can paint with me every week. Now let's get started. All right, so today I'm starting with a 12 by 16 inch canvas, fresh out of the package. I did not gesso it or wet the back, but you could do either if you prefer. Okay, I gessoed my canvas prior. The colors I'm using, I tried to come as close as I could to the colors she was using. Dioxazine Purple by Americana, Cranberry by Apple Barrel, and Yellow Flame by Apple Barrel. I'm going to put out a little palette over here um, as best I can. Um, I have gloppy paint. Well, ain't that about a bitch. Ew, gross. You know, I ain't got all the professional paints, but that's all right. You don't need them. You, use, you can use craft paints. You know, we use craft paints. All right, I'm just going to try my best. I don't know how to set up a palette. Have no idea. I'm gonna put some white because she did say something about white, and then a black I'll put out in a little bit because I don't think we need that quite yet. All right, let's continue. And again, I already gessoed my canvas. I'm gonna start with my one inch flat brush, and I did wet this in my jar and then just wiped it on the edge a little bit. So one this inch. is gonna be a fairly simple painting. So we're gonna put quite a bit of emphasis in blending. So that's what we're gonna start with. Now I've got some deep violet, and you could really use any purple that you want. For this one, the deep violet's a little bit warmer, a little bit paler than diox, so that's why I chose it, but you could use diox. I'm just gonna get a bit. I'm not loading up with it. I don't want it to be too terribly dark. And I'm gonna get about the same amount of white. Now I want this to be very smooth, very straight across. So all of my brush strokes are just gonna go side to side. And if you decide that you want it darker than that, a little bit more purple, just grab a bit more purple and work it into there. Actually, I might. Just a little bit, especially right here at the very top. Just a smooth brush stroke. See, I'm not putting a ton of pressure. My brush isn't bending too much. And I'm gonna take it down until it fizzles out. See, it's starting to kind of fizzle out. Of course, craft now, paints don't, don't go as far. into the purple too terribly much, I'm gonna grab some white. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to start right about where I left off. Okay, I'm going to so pause it for just a second. Forth. So that I can finish what I'm doing. And I'm also going to hit the sides of mine a little bit. Which I don't think she worries about too much in hers. Because mine I'm probably not going to be framing like she would. So I'm going to work on the sides um, as I go. Because... I'm gonna, I realize I'm going to need a hell of a lot more paint than I put out here because I might need to wet my brush a little. I'm not good at wetting my brush. I'm just going to do that. And of course, I'm not dealing with the most expensive paints either. So, and 
and then she picked up I think she did pure white just white without cleaning her brush and started to blend into it Probably should darken that a little bit up there. You might hear the puppies in the background. And again, since I'm using craft paint, it might take me just a little bit longer to get the coverage that she's got because craft paints, you know, are fine, totally. I mean, I mean I've heard several artists say, you know, go ahead and use craft paints if that's what you got, you know, but um it just takes a little bit longer to get the coverage and what of what you want you know because it's not they don't have as opaque i guess and best pigments but you know you can, it's totally doable so i'm trying to blend And get my sides as well so this is what I mean this is why I say it's gonna be a long video because I'm trying to follow her tutorial and work at the same time and it takes me a little longer to do things because I'm trying I you know I'm not a professional but she does a really good job of telling you and you'll see I've, I've already watched the video and you'll see that she like um, explains how to blend and I'm like over blending probably and probably like going a little crazy but anyway let's continue just to lay that paint down and then to blend it I'm gonna go up into that purple with the same pressure you could probably use some more right light. up into it and then right back down I need to clean and we have brush. a little bit of banding, but I like that because that kind of, I, I feel like it helps indicate some distant clouds. Now I've cleaned off my brush. I'm going to pick up some more white, just a bit. Again, start right below that purple. Go right up into it and right back down. My brush is a little bit wet there. Right below it right up into it don't be afraid get up in there and right back down now i'm going to pick up more white quite a bit and a bit of yellow and this is cadmium yellow medium my white ends right here i don't know if you can tell in the video but it ends right here so i'm going to start right below that and slowly work my way up into it until I see that I have a nice smooth blend and right back down again notice the pressure on my brush it's bending a bit but it's not flat pressure we only apply flat pressure when we're trying to lay down more paint so there I did put heavier pressure bit, to get some of that paint off my brush a bit brighter just a bit of pressure to smooth them together All right, let's get a little bit more white and a little bit more yellow and a bit of quinacridone. And you don't have to use quinacridone. You can use any that you like. pause this a second so I can finish what I'm doing here, doing my blending still. But do you notice how, like, when she, she teaches you, it's very um, detailed. Whoops, I have a little purple on my brush. That's all right. We're going to go into the pink color so it won't be that big of a deal I don't think I'm doing too terribly bad at this point I mean my canvas is obviously smaller than hers so I'm trying my hardest to do things in 
in the manner that she teaches. I gotta clean my brush off better. There's too much purple on it. All right. Still purple on it. Good Lord. That's all right. So the only thing I want to do is because my yellow is so incredibly pale, I'm going to add some more like just because her yellow looks a little bit brighter to begin with than mine. So I'm going to just brighten mine up by going straight for the yellow and just kind of blending that and then blending it down with some white because it's just really super pale. And obviously when you follow tutorials like this, you don't have to go as fast as they're going. Stop it when you need to. Start it when you need to. Like, I'm not happy with this here, so I'm going to kind of give it a little more of a blend and hope that it works. <laughs> you know, you could always fix it. I mean, I don't, you know, I say that all the time, even in mixed media. That's more my forte. You can always fix things. But if you don't try, then you don't, you know. I'm, I'm, I've done blending before, so I'm not, you know, that I've done before. I've just not ever painted a full canvas. And I like the stripey look. Kind of that that's much better to me than it was. I don't know about what she would think of that, but I think it's much better. I'm more comfortable with it, which I think is the most important thing. Okay, let's see. This. Again, right below where I left off. That's right. So let me go back so just a little bit I to refresh what she just it. said. And you don't have to use quinacridone. You could use any red that Wait, you like. Wait, let me go back this. a little bit yeah. further. Okay. All right, let's get a little bit more white. White. And a little bit more yellow. And a bit oh, of quinacridone. Yeah. And you don't have to use quinacridone. You could use any red that you like for this. Okay. Again, right below where I left off. Slowly right up into it. And right back down. white. I find that to get things to blend a little better with craft paint using a little white <laughs> so helps. Right there my, my previous color is starting to dry a little bit so I'm just going to grab a hint of white oh, she just and said just it. smooth over it and that kind of makes it look like it blended in. She just said it. I'm just glad. Like a, a hint of white and some quinacridone just for the very bottom here. Need a little more quinacridone than that. Get a nice bright bottom to our sunset. There we go. She's got a lot more yellow going on. And I took it down about to the bottom. I didn't take it all the way to the bottom because we're going to add a little bit of a ground there. So right, let me pause it so I can look at hers in, on the screen and kind of adjust. I need to clean my brush up. A little and go back in I'm making a mess over here go in with some yellow and kind of bring it down a little better <sighs> we're getting there we're getting there I didn't realize 
realize I didn't go further enough. And, you know, I think with these, with blending, you can always fix, you can always fix your mistakes, I think, pretty easily. At least that's what it seems. Just trying to catch up with her a little bit. I need to put more paint on my brush and not be afraid to put more paint on my brush. I'm forgetting to do the sides of my canvas. Bad girl. This gives you an arm workout. Goodness gracious. Sure does. My arms are like tired. Whoa. Got a burst of pink there. That's all right. I'll just Add a little white to it and smooth it out. All right, and then we'll go further with the darker pink. And I need to do my sides as well. Yeah, she's got more of a the darker pink down here, I think. I call it pink. I don't know the proper names for things. I mean, switching hands for a minute. My arms hurt so bad. I don't have a, I do, or I do have a, um, what do you call it? An easel. It's like a tabletop easel, but I don't know how I would film with a tabletop easel very well. So now I'm just using straight cranberry that's the color I have to finish off this bottom edge here and I don't think I did too bad of a job I'm pretty proud of myself thank you Jane for your instruction but I think it's not too bad also Jane has a on top I mean she's a busy lady she's also got a store where she sells if you go to paintingwithjane.com, you can also see her paintbrush line that she has. She has her own paintbrush line. Fancy. I'm sure they're for more, a little bit more professional than, I mean, than for somebody like me, but. All right, let me clean this off. And hit my sides because I realize that she doesn't do that, but I'm sure it's because she does probably her work for a canvas and I'm just screwing around here. I don't know. I forget how I did this now. Well, that's not going to work. I'm messing up my front. That's all right. Are you kids? I'll make it fixed. I'll fix it. And if it doesn't fix, then so be it. Need more cranberry. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just paint the sides black. We gonna do, right? We gonna do. I'm 
not gonna press overly. Just a small amount of pressing. Okay, good. Everything's good. We're good. Back to you, Jane. See, and in only a couple of minutes, we have a nice smooth blend. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back and add our clouds. All right, no, the video did not start over. I am gonna show you. Now this is the cool thing about Jane and I'm not gonna show this whole thing because it would take an extra few minutes and you know, you guys can go watch this, but what I love about her is that she took the time to, after she showed you the way, you know, we blended and left kind of the streakiness into it a little bit. She then stops and redoes uh, the blending, but shows you how to really blend it further and like with a lot more detail. So I think that's what, what I love about her is that she really goes into detail to really kind of show you different ways to do things. So check this out for just a minute and then, you know, we'll skip ahead. Show you how to do the same thing, but without the banding, because I showed you how I typically like to do it. I like the streaks of color, but I'm going to show you how to get a nice smooth blend without that banding. So again, I'm going to grab some of my deep violet. Yeah, so she, she goes into and more detail. And does the whole thing. So we're not going to do that. You can watch that on her video, which is linked below. But I find that to be amazing that she does that. See, look how she taught me to make this. It looks great. I think it looks cool. I mean, is it as perfect as hers? Of course not. But I think it's, you know, considering it's pretty close. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the recording and let this dry. And then I'm going to clean up my palette a little bit and get ready for the next step. So we will be back in just a minute. Okay, friends, we are back. My canvas is dry, looking good. I'm happy with that. Um, so the blending part, I wasn't as nervous about because I've done this before. I've blended before. So I was okay with this pretty much. But now's where the tricky part comes in because now I have to draw a straight kind of line. Like I have to draw something. I have to create a I have to create an object. That's where things get dicey. So let's continue with our video and see how, see how this goes. <laughs> and in the same motion comes this is the end of where she was explaining it. the other we'll part back of. to our banded canvas. You know what I mean? That's the one that I like better. And we're going to add some clouds. Now I'm going to use my number eight filbert. I wet it in my jar a little bit and wiped it off pretty good, so it's just so wet. her her number eight filbert is much smaller than this one, which says it's a number eight, but I don't think I don't know if it's a filbert. Um, so since I don't have one that's small like that, well, I kind of do. Maybe this is a number eight. Yeah, I think that'll do. So um, and I think she goes back to using this color. The purple um so i'll put some of that out i got some black too you can't see it because it's behind the thing but i got black too black and that purple so now we're gonna i think add the clouds in so let's see if i can do this slightly down now i know in the image that you saw of this painting here the clouds look like they get warmer and a little bit redder as they go down. But all I'm going to use is oh, my yeah. deep violet. Some of this too. I might mix just a hint of white in with them up here just so they're not so dark, but we'll see. And I got just a little bit of matte medium. For what I'm using matte medium for, you could use water, but I'm going to use matte medium. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of paint. Okay, hold on a second. I got lost there for a second because I was trying to get my white paint out. So I got 
four colors that I need, which you can't really see. I can show it to you by doing this. I have white and black and purple and pink. It's hard because if I, I put it here, I'll end up with my arm in it. So let me go back. She said something about matte medium, and I have matte medium, um, which obviously is this. The 3D matte gel is also a matte medium, but let's see. Do I have a different matte medium that might work better? Um, I don't think so. I think that'll work fine. Oh, here we go. I have this. I have this stuff here. So we'll put this down in case we need to use this. Because she had mentioned something about it. You can use water or that. So I figured if I have it, I'll use it. So let me go back just a little. Like they get warmer and a little bit redder as they go down. But all I'm going to use is my deep violet. I might mix just a hint of white in with them up here just so they're not so dark. But we'll see. And I got just a little bit of matte medium. For what I'm using matte medium for, you could use water. But I'm going to use matte medium. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of paint. I'm not loading up. I don't have gobs of paint on here. And I'm just going to come in here and use the tip of my filbert and just kind of tap in a cloud shape, kind of. Like, it doesn't have to be like a real cloud, you know, just kind of a shape. That's not dark enough. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of matte medium and come in right here underneath that and just kind of tap that out so that it lightens a bit at the bottom there. It gets a little bit fuzzier. These are going to be pretty simple clouds. I'm wiping some of the paint off of my brush because I don't really want to take mm -hmm. the paint out anywhere. I don't want the paint to spread. I just want to kind of soften up that bottom edge. You know what? She said the water worked better I after. Actually, just use water and wash off my brush. Yeah, you know what? I like that better. I'm not going to use the matte medium, but I am going to keep a paper towel handy. And after I wipe off a section, I'll just wipe it off on my paper towel a bit. I feel like the matte medium was spreading the paint too much, and I don't really want to spread it. I just want to diminish it at the bottom there. Okay, let's do that again. Just add like a little small one in here. See, just kind of irregularly shaped. Kind of cleaned off my brush. Just tap out the bottom. Mr. Moon sounds very sad today. He's not sad though, I promise. He says otherwise. I'm not scrubbing at it. It's just like a tap, kind of a bounce, kind of like the way we did the trees in the Super Moon video. So it's like a dab and a bounce. My brush is never actually coming off of the canvas. I'm going to just take a little bit of that and bring it here. And I'm going to do that pretty much throughout here. You'll start to see as we get down lower how the color changes. See, so don't make worms. I'm not even really trying to make cloud shapes. Just kind of tapping that color into there. Clean damp brush. And of course, Tigger Quiet. Just break up any of the lines that are a little too hard for you.
I think she, let me go back a minute because I think she started with a different color. And I'm going to do that. I didn't see her out here. She'll start to see as we get down. I'm below assuming she started to add a little this. pink to it. So I'm just going to play it from here because I'm still. I'm really trying to make cloud shades. Just kind of so I'm just going to add color into there. Clean damp brush. A little bit too in here. Kind of. Start to lighten it as I go. Just break up any of the lines that are a little too hard for you. She's got hers a little bit on fast forward, whereas obviously I'm working in real time, so I may have to stop it. And so the nature of this purple makes it very transparent, and that's exactly what I want here. Because if this purple weren't transparent, then I wouldn't get the color shift in it that I do, and I would just have these solid purple clouds over the entire background. And that's not what I want. I want my clouds to look like they're changing color with the sky. And maybe the color of the sky is kind of reflecting on them a little bit. And I can easily get that just because the color is transparent and that yellow and orange and everything automatically glows through the purple. He's really on one today. This is the second video that Tigger I quit today. And he was completely silent Good Lord. for the one before. He's got to be noisy during a video, right? Of course. Oh, and look what I did. Let's turn that into a little wispy cloud thing. I'm just kind of going for it. I'm not even looking at what she's doing at this point. I have watched her video a couple of times, so luckily I think I don't know. I don't need spots on there. Just do that. And we'll just continue. I'm kind of putting pink on the bottom. And then I'm taking the purple and going on top. That's way too much cloud, but mine aren't as wispy. See how warm these clouds down here at the bottom look. All that orange glowing through. That's a big cloud. <laughs> That's a big hot mess. I know there's a lot of colors that you guys don't like to use because That's okay. they're very transparent. I'm trying. But 
that sometimes transparency is exactly what you need. Some yellow. Sometimes you don't want your color to be really opaque. I think I might just pop a couple, a couple up here, and then we'll be done with our sky. Okay, so I'm going back to my half inch angle brush. Okay, I'm gonna hold up. up with Let me finish my clouds or mess or whatever you want to call it. I'm still trying to salvage out that one, but I kind of messed up. That's okay. I'm not going to be perfect at this in any means. That's not going to be possible. Doing practicing. This is a practice. So I'm trying. And then she's got some down here, which might all look the same shape, whatever. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Mine all kind of look the same shape. to salvage these last couple by making them a different different shape. I don't know. I don't know. We trying, we trying. I might have the wrong colors going on, but what have you? My canvas is not very level either. <laughs> yeah, my all my all my um clouds look very different from one another. They don't even look remotely the same color. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm having fun. That's all that matters. I mean, there's, it's not her teaching. That's for sure. It's I just haven't practiced. But considering she does explain things really well, so I like that. And I like that it makes, you know, I, I, what she says does, you know, make sense to me, which is important. I'm just going to do that, throw some.
can't be perfect. Like I said, first time following somebody else's tutorials and I'm happy with that. That works for me. All right, let's see what she does next. My deep violet. Deep violet, and I think she did that. I'm just going to go back a little, little bit. bit. Couple up here, and then we'll be done with our sky. That one's just a mess, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going back to my half inch angle brush, and I'm going to load up with my deep violet. Half inch angle brush. I'm just going to grab. A Hold on, let's see. <laughs> Tigger, enough! Oh my god. Seriously, this dog, there's nothing and no reason for him to bark whatsoever. There's no one around, there's nothing. But he just feels the need to keep barking. And if you do it again, I'm going to kick you out of my life. <laughs> or at least out of the room. How's that? All right, let's go back and listen to what she said again before I was rudely interrupted by the dog. Yeah, her clouds look way better. Mine look a hot mess, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so I'm going back to my half inch. I have to brush, practice and these I'm things. Load up with my deep violet. Which I don't. Tigger. A little bit of Mars black, so it's going to be very, very dark. But I still all right. want it to verge. It's on her purple. cat, I think. He hears Mr. her cat. Really Mr. Moon. Him okay. Right now. This Let's isn't very deep, but we'll descent. add some black. It's a little bit of distant land. That might be a little more black than I want. I just cleaned off my brush and I'm going to streak that down. Mine's probably a lot of land, but. Okay, much better. Deep violet. Picked up just the littlest hint of black in there. Much Wait. better. That's what I was looking Mine for. Mine was purpley. Do that same color on the other side. Mine's gonna be a little sketching on there. Need some Land. time to, have to cover. Even and perfect. I got a lot of land. But that's alright. I went up a little higher with my land. Maybe I'll just grab some quinacridone. I didn't clean off my brush, so I'll have that purple black on there. And I'll fill in this with the quinacridone. Maybe it'll seem like there's a little bit of a, a reflection. I've got to bring it up a little higher. I probably should have taken my sky all the way down, but I didn't. Oh, well. I'm grabbing some of the pink. Can't be helped now. I'm going to keep that fairly level because I want it to seem maybe like water. Like an ocean or something. It's just tropical. So we might have some water there. Alright, let's go back into our purple with a hint of black. And we'll just bring our hills up just a little bit. These hills that I'm doing and the water and everything, I want it to be pretty abstract. I don't want it to, it's not the star of the show. And on camera, mine might look like it's black, but it's actually a really deep purple. All right, let's get some palm trees on here. Is okay, before she does that, let me finish this because, you know, I, got, I want to do the sides down here. So I just want to get that. And plus my paint is a lot thinner than hers, so I can see through to the other, what do you call it, um, layer. So I need to work on this just a minute longer than she did not having the same quality of paint i have to add a couple of coats i 
uh, the same darkness of paint, so adding a little extra black makes it Unfortunately, this brush is not great for trying to make straight lines without it being fuzzy. Here, which I don't have enough of that left. Add some of the purple to it, make it a little more of a deeper color here. This is a really bad brush. <laughs> it's like refusing to give me a straight line of any kind. That's all right. Um, I thought it was going to take even longer than it is. It's not taking as long as I thought. Like, I thought I was going to have to actually go a lot slower than I'm going. So, kind of happy about that. I haven't had to stop too incredibly much. Okay, I think that is all. Good. Okay. Now rinse this off. Because I think we're starting the palm trees now, which makes me really nervous because this is like, whoo, drawing. And I'm going to get some black. Uh, she's really doing it with this brush. And I'm going to start just by drawing where my trunks are going to be. I'm not confident and this brush is any good. They're kind of wiggly and they're kind of weird shaped. So don't worry about getting perfectly straight, smooth lines. This scares me. start with one up here and oh kind of God. bring it down. Oh my God. About like that. About like that, huh? We'll have one here that's maybe not quite as tall. We can see all of the, whatever they're called on top, the leaves or the palms. Oh, I did it. This is scary. What is on my brush? Come on, really? <laughs> like a hair. Maybe there's a distant one kind of right in there. And then we can widen them out. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use a little extra pressure on my brush. Oh, that's fabulous. Ugh, this is my brush, see? Hold on, folks. This is my brush. Ugh, oh, man. And I'm taking them all the way off the bottom of the canvas. This is because I have a crap brush. All right, let's try to salvage it. Stop! Some of them fat. I'm not good with brushes. I'm not good with art. <laughs> this brush is going in the garbage. Alright, give me something I can use because I can't use that. Let's try this one. Because seriously, that just made me angry. So we're going to do... Like, I, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do a straight line. Like, this is not... Uh, it's too thick now. I'm going to have to... 
I don't know how to do it other than do it from bottom to top because I'm not getting enough paint, clearly. It's like my black paint isn't black enough because it's cheap, crappy paint. My palm trees are just going to be really thick. And I don't think I'm going to add too many of them because, well, you know, I'm making a hot mess of it as it is, so <laughs> I'm just not good at This is the part that I was dreading to begin with because I am not good at making straight lines. I'm not good at being light-handed, and so things like this is not my forte. I'm, I'm too heavy-handed naturally of a person. And that's why I always say, like, whenever there's anything where they tell you to gently do this or lightly do that, I'm the opposite. I'm the one that's going to go in like a bull in the china shop and just go, because I don't have that light touch. I'm not graceful with a brush at all. And so that's never going to be anybody's fault but my own. Like, this looks horrible. I just don't have that ability. I can't keep my hands steady enough to get, it just feels like I'm not getting enough paint on my brush either. It's because I'm using crappy paint. So let's see, she's making them thicker. So I'm just going to have to make some thick ass palm trees to fix this. I don't know. I can't seem to get any brush that is giving me any kind of hope here. Let's try this one. Make that one quite a bit fatter at the base. Yeah, well, mine are fat all the way. This one's a little more distance. We'll keep it more narrow. Mine are going to be closer. That's all. That's my solution. Right, I'm going to go to my number three round, and this is right, just to uh, draw the look. Let me do this first. Yeah, mine are going to be much closer, so I'm going to literally make these wide. Since I already screwed up, I'm going to find a way to fix it, because... There's always a way to fix things, you know? They're not going to be distant palm trees. They're going to be close palm trees. That's just life. What are you going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? You just need to have thick palm trees and deal with it. Not every palm tree can be this skinny legend. This brush is way better. This is that Craftimo brush that they the company sent me these to play with, and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet till now. So, and it's a way better brush than what I was just using. I don't have the best of brushes, and that's okay. You do the best you can with what you got. But when you're drawing a straight line, you probably should at least have a brush that's, well, she said something about the trunks being wavy anyway, so mine are that, definitely mine are that. They're wavy, that is definitely a thing. That's a thing and a thing. Yeah, I don't know if these look much like palm trees, but, you know, whatevs. And as I make yet another mistake, I have to keep going back and... <laughs> like... I 
don't have the ability to be all graceful with my strokeage. All right, anyway, good enough because, yeah. And then I think we're doing some on the other side. Let me see. Little lines where the palms are going to be. Yeah, that's right. There is and some little lines. Out and down like that. The wind that is blowing a little brush, bit. Right? So this one, for example, that's in the back. Let's and try this up brush. A little line. Just a couple of little lines here and there. What should we do? Make it look like this one's kind of blowing. Oh, that's right. She made one that was smaller. Where's my black paint? It yeah, disappeared. Oh, God. Where'd it go? There it is. Avalanche. Great. <laughs> this is a comedy show. All right, so we need Adjust some. And add more. One, two. She's putting to like five. I'm going to use my fan brush. All right, let's stop for a minute. She's putting. Yeah, see? That was just. Yeah, that's a that's a no. I don't know how to do anything gentle. I'm like, yeah, that brush is gonna suck. I'm like, what's his name? The guy from that movie, or from the book, I mean, Lenny, who takes the animal, <laughs> destroys it. There we go. This brush better. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And my arm is going in the paint. No grace. No class. Can't paint. To save my ass. Okay. Most of mine are going off the going off the edge, so but whatever. I have to do mine that way. Stress, 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 don't stress, don't stress. All right, so we're going to make another palm tree that's shorter so that I can, so that I can make one that has like palm fronds that are not, come on, hold some paint for crying out loud. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Stressful. Okay, I know this next part I'm going to have to practice because it's something that even she mentions that you should practice. So I'm going to grab this piece of watercolor paper or whatever. And you'll see in a second what it is. And this is the part that makes me even more nervous. Load up with black paint. And then do this very delicately. You don't want to put too much pressure on your brush on here. Otherwise, you'll just fill it all in and you'll just have big black practice on here. So I'm going to start right on the line and just lightly start kind of pulling it. And we'll kind of go both ways a bit. What mine looks like. Is it my brush? Maybe I should try a different one. I have another fan brush. Let's try this one. I don't want my brush sticking together quite that much. Yeah, there we go. Wacky lines in there. All right, let's there try it. Go. Screw it. Shoot, I'm nervous. Out. I'm scared. 
Jane. Walk me through it, Jane. Ooh, that's not too bad. I haven't screwed up too badly. Oh, it's working. Thank you, Jane. I made it look like a palm tree. Oh, hers look really like a palm tree. You can absolutely do this with really any kind of brush you like. I just added another one there that I hadn't drawn on in the first place. And let's add some to this one. Now this one's smaller, so obviously I don't want to use the middle because then the edges are going to get away from me. So I'm going to use the corner. So just come in with the corner. Oh, that's what she did. Very light pressure, just kind of pull some down. I did the first one good and I did all these crap. Now you see hopefully why I just kind of generally drew the the stems on there because it is kind of hard to get exactly on there with the fan brush. I'm not completely comfortable with the fan brush. I can use it a bit, but it's not my, not typically my favorite brush. Well, but I think for this it works really well. Pull a few up off of it that way. And maybe we'll just indicate that some of these taller trees have some that are poking down just a bit. So I'm just going to pause here and flick a little down. Damn it. Oh, so clumps. All I ever get is clumps. Clump central. Now just underneath the palms, our trees do have a little bit of an area that's a bit wider. So I'm going back to my number three. And then just at the base here, I'm just kind of tapping. Mm. Kind of widen it out and give it some of those little messy bits. All right, kind of let me off. stop her right there. And finish my, oops, palm tree with pink. I don't know how that got on there. Like it, I'm sticking my paint in the paint. That's kind of a messy bit. Not too terribly bad. Not too terribly bad. I'm pretty proud of myself for not screwing this up too royally. Okay, so are we not putting any on this side? I don't remember. I might end up putting some on this side because I've messed up so badly. All right, let me water this a little bit and let me get the other brush I was using and fix my tree here because Uh, a little, a little crooked. There we go. And now she said she was putting little things up by her tops of her trees, like little, um, like like the little things. What a you know? I don't know what they're called, but. We're just going to stick them. Make sure I don't have anything.
Sure, sure. Okay, what else are we doing? Let's see, Miss Jane. Her pom poms are really, really, really foofy. Mine are not foofy, but that's okay. And considering how thick my palm trees are, they probably should be more foofy, but that's okay. First time. First time, first time. Some of them even just have a little bit of that character all the way down. So you can even just kind of come along the edge and break it up a little bit here and there. See, it's just tiny little brush strokes. Just so the trunks aren't perfectly, perfectly straight. Just give it a bit of character. I'm just going to do that on these here and there, and then I think we're about done. That's a really... Overkill. Okay, I'm pretty happy with our super simple sure. tropical sunset. So I'm going to grab what's left of my yellow and I'm going to sign it. Okay, so she left, but because I want to practice the trees a little bit more, hers is really pretty. I want to put two trees over here just because it's very, I didn't make them really swoopy. So I'm going to use this brush to do that, but I'm going to put a couple trees over here on mine because I didn't make my trees palms very swoopy like she did. So mine look my area looks a little bit bare. So I'm going to go like that and put just I should have used this to begin with. Doesn't hold a lot of paint, but at least I can get a better line with it for me anyway. All right, so and I'm already screwing that up again. I'm an extremely heavy handed type of person. But that's all right. I don't think it looks too bad. I'm not overly disappointed in the way it looks. I mean, considering it's my first, I'm sure you guys will do way better than me if you try it. Okay, and what I probably could do is put another one right here to kind of salvage the fact that this tree is really, really fat. So I could probably put like, like that. To salvage, to make it seem like there's two trees like next to each other here. Maybe. I don't know. I'll just try it. You know. So we got these two over here. And that one there. Oh, why am I doing that? I need to make the little swoopies. This one will be Let's see this one. Oops. 
pink and everything. Doesn't hold much paint this brush, but I have a little more control over it. I got a water spot there. Let's clean that up. Smooth move, excellent. Smooth move, excellent. And that's a little thick. I I just don't have the knack for the getting the proper pressure on things is just, just not something I can do. <laughs> All right, where's that fan brush I was using? It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. I know it wasn't this one. Did I put it over here? I had to have. Yes, I did. I put it over here. Okay, let's clean it. Get it. Back to being fantastic. Get it? Okay. Now this. Trying. Turning out worse than the other ones. Maybe it's my paint. I think my paint might be getting um a little thick. Shoot. Do over. Redo this brush. Yeah, it's my paint. It's a little bit boopy. Well, it's not the greatest, but you know, it's practice. You need to practice. See, this stupid brush wants to like completely do the opposite of what I want it to do. I don't like this brush anymore. Oh, the problems. <laughs> I don't know how this brush all of a sudden became a nightmare, but. Whoops, don't go that way. Well, my painting went from being okay to being crap now because my brush decided it wasn't going to work the same anymore. That's what happened. It's okay. It's all right. I don't even know if you guys can see what the hell I'm doing because I don't have room up here to that's why I don't do bigger canvases generally. Because I ain't got room for it. I'm just going to fake it until we make it.
But I like the technique of doing this to add the palm fronds. I never ever thought of that before. I mean, I've never done a palm tree really, so. But I really like that. And I, you know, aside from the trunks, I'm not happy with the trunks of the of the palm trees. I do like the palm frommy things. I definitely think that that's a cool way to do it. You know, definitely. I really am having fun with this though. I really like it. I would like to do more palm trees. I would like to practice those. I think, I think if I practiced more, I would get much better at the palm tree thing and I would like it better. So I don't know if she's got more videos of her doing, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, but Um, I don't know if she's got more videos of doing palm trees, but, you know, scenes with palm trees, but I'd be interested in trying another one. I'm just so heavy handed. I wish I wasn't so heavy handed. I've always been that way my entire life, which is why I didn't ever really paint it. Because I can't break that habit. I've tried. I just am not capable of being super light and graceful. And and like, you know, it's just really, really difficult for me. But I think considering that I'm not, you know, light-handed. I don't have that wispy kind of use the brush with your, you know, I just don't have that ability. But considering, I don't think I did a bad job. I did get a bunch of paint spots all over it. But you know what? Eh, who cares? So I'm going to use some of the yellow paint. I probably should use white paint just because, you know, I will. Because I'm sure my craft paint won't show up as well. And I'm going to sign my painting just like she did over here. And I'm going to put S. Evan. That's it. It's a crappy signature, but hey, it definitely works. And I think that's the end of her video. Um, and there's your tropical sunset. I hope that this painting helped you maybe chase away some of the winter blues and maybe bring yeah. a little bit of warmth into your day. It definitely Don't did. Don't forget, I would love to see what you're doing. So make sure you check out the video description where you can find links to all of my social. So then she talks about all that. Links will be in the description below to see her social media stuff. I don't think it's too terribly bad considering this is the first time I'm really like painting. Um, I don't think I did it. Look at the mess. <laughs> it looks like a massacre of paint over here, but I honestly am pretty proud of myself. I think I did good. I really had fun following her techniques and I'm like overwhelmingly happy with the the way this like the palm trees you could do that with a fan brush i think it's so cool i'm not thrilled with some of my clouds but who cares i had a great time i will be hanging this up in my house because i'm proud of it i love it thank you so much jane for your amazing um teaching and the way you teach because i i don't know i don't think i ever would have had the courage to to try this if it wasn't for your specific way of teaching so i'm very happy about that and i want to thank you for letting me do this video and show your video and and everything um and for anybody that is interested um her videos the you know go check her out for sure links all her links are going to be in my description all you have to do is look at the bottom of the video and hit show more if if not all of it shows up you can hit the words show more click on that it'll oh, pop up pop open the whole description box go to her channel give her a thumbs up on her video give her a subscription you know leave her a comment and the whole nine yards and let me know what you think of my painting you know did i do okay and don't forget if you pick one of her paintings her tutorials to follow doesn't matter which one if you pick one of hers to follow and take a picture and tag me in it 
And if I could find her Facebook, you know, I'll leave it below where you could tag her in it and let me see what you did. Um, you don't even have to be in my group necessarily. You could just tag me in it or tag the group in it or somehow. I don't know. My name is Stacy Evans on Facebook, so I'm sure you can find me. But anyway, if you do that, I will hopefully, or just send me a picture. Uh, you could just send me a picture at pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. If you do that and allow, and let me know if I'm allowed to post it in the group because I'll post it in the in our group um, if I'm allowed to, if you allow me to. But you will be entered in a drawing and at the end of April, I will pick, probably during one of my live streams, I will pick a winner to win um, a little prize pack that I'll put together. It probably will include a canvas and some other little goodies. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a try. I had a lot of fun. Thank you again, Jane, for letting me do this because it really helped me kind of like go, yeah, it's not so bad. I can, I can do this. You know, it's not so bad. Um, I was nervous, but I, you know, and there's a few parts that frustrated me, but not because of you, because of me because I'm just internally frustrated at things. I'm or just always frustrated at things I do sometimes. But I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of this. So anyway, have a great rest of your week, everybody. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to me. And if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do something else. Maybe I'll do another painting by Jane if you want one. Maybe you can look through her videos and see one that you want me to do again. And I'll do another one. So have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you later. Make sure you do what you love. Love what you do and be nice to people. Bye.